That's his Lord Farquaad. Let's let's get it. That's his Lord Farquaad. Let's let's get it. What the hell was that? Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back with another comparison video, and today we've got the Kyrie Four versus the Curry Four. Let's get it. So Stephen Curry and Kyrie Irving, two of the most electrifying point guards in the NBA right now. They've gone toe to toe on the court many of times. Many of times. Some of the best games I've ever seen in the yep, NBA, bro. Yep, 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 yep. And right now we want to find out which shoe is better. They've gone toe to toe in the NBA. Let's do it in the studio. Let's get straight into it. So starting out at the traction of the shoe, on the Kyrie 4, we've got that Staircase Tetris modified herringbone. One take, light. Well done. Safe, brother. This traction pattern did the trick straight away. Felt really, really good on the court. Definitely what we've expected from the Kyrie line. So again, this shoe was no exception whatsoever. And over here on the Curry 4, what we have are circular pivot points that spread around the outsole, almost like a water ripple. That makes sense? Yeah, pretty much. The traction on the Curry 4 took both of us by surprise. Massive surprise. It was amazing, amazing traction. On dusty courts, clean courts, the Curry 4 had us covered. Really, really good traction. Didn't think it was gonna be that good, but it was amazing. Now, which traction pattern was better? I might have to give it to the Curry 4, bro. The Curry 4 traction was amazing, yeah. but it wasn't upgrading the Curry 3. True. The Curry 4 traction pattern was fantastic, and it took me by surprise. I was sticking to the floor in certain ways I wasn't expecting, bro. No, I hear that. I completely agree with that. It looks like the Curry 4 might be the best traction we've seen in a very long time. So I'm gonna give that point to the Curry 4 for sure. 100%. Moving on up into the midsole, what we have here in the Curry 4 is a proprietary foam compound, what we call PFC. PFC. Basically it feels like EVA, there's not much of it. It's nice because it's low to the ground responsive and you have good court feel, but on the flip side, there is no impact protection whatsoever. Couldn't play in the shoe for more than two hours, my knees was hurting. So over here in the Curry 4, we've got that full length. Curry 4. What'd I say? He said Curry 4. God. Damn so it. many fours and curries and fours these and fours carries. And this, cause curries and this curry curries. straight. So over here in the Kyrie 4, we've got that full length Kushlon midsole, along with that zoom bag in the heel, which gives you fantastic impact protection because finally in the Kyrie line, you can actually feel it. Now this midsole setup, easily the best in the Kyrie line. 100%. Felt fantastic, yeah. right out of the box. Needed way less breaking time than anything else. Yeah. So I'm definitely gonna have to give the point to the Kyrie for myself. Oh yeah, 100%. What's the score now, 1-1? One, 1-1. One? One, one. All right, let's move on. So moving on up to the fitting materials, over here on the Kyrie 4, what we have is a internal knitted sleeve with a synthetic overlay. Now this shoe requires a lot of breaking time. So please be patient, because it will feel like bricks out of the box. But once they break in, the fit and the materials are decent. I would definitely recommend going up half a size in the Kyrie 4, but the fit materials are fine. Over here in the Kyrie 4, we've got that engineered mesh in the forefoot backed with nylon, and then the synthetic suede and nubucks in the ankle containment to really hold the ankle down as well. Now an upgrade from the Kyrie 3 as we've already spoken about, these materials felt super comfortable, they're soft, they move, really, really nice out of the box with a lot less breaking time than the rest of the Kyrie line, and definitely less breaking time than the Curry 4, oh, sure. A lot less breaking time because less. I might still not have broken into the Curry 4 now. It's been like three weeks, bro. It's been a minute still. Yeah. It's been a minute still. It's a stiff shoe, man. With all that being said, if you agree, I'm going to give that point to the Curry 4. They take the point. I don't, you don't want it over here, bro. Cause I know you want it, but you can't have it. That's what I'm I, saying. That, I, there's nothing I can say about the, the Curry 4's uh, fit materials compared to that that will give me the point. So you take that ish. We'll take that. So moving on into the support of the shoe, we've got our usual suspect of the outrigger on the Kyrie 4, the four foot flywire, ankle containment with those durable materials and the internal heel counter to reduce heel slippage. All four of these aspects are a system that work really well. It's actually the exact same in the Kyrie 3. So by moving them on into the Kyrie 4, it's obviously something they're doing right and I can definitely vouch for that for sure. So over here on the Curry 4, what we have is the usual suspect, which is also an outrigger, which helps with lateral support. We have this rib cage, which is basically just extra knitted material that helps lock your foot down on the forefoot. And I would love to say we have an internal heel cutter, but as you guys can see, there's not much going on over here. So overall, the support of the Curry 4 is good. It's not amazing. We did experience some heel slippage, so that was the only thing that kind of let the shoe down. But from the overall fit, it still felt pretty good. Just a bit annoying that there was a bit of heel slippage, 
but that's pretty much it. So that being said, I think again, the Kyrie 4 takes that point just because of this really strong setup that the Kyrie has yeah. and it's just doing the trick like it's supposed to. 100%. Last but definitely not least, we have the aesthetics of both of these shoes and I have to say, this is the best looking Kari shoe so far. They have improved from their predecessors and really brought out a shoe that I think is fantastic. It's sleek, it's streamlined, and I love the way it looks on feet, bro. I definitely agree with you about it being the best of its line. Not something I can say for the Kyrie 4, as the Kyrie 3 is definitely the best of its line. So, what are you saying? It's a tough one, but I think the point will have to go to the Kyrie 4, bro. The Kyrie 4 looks brilliant. It looks so nice on feet. Mm. This colorway is clean. I just think that this shoe just looks a little bit better than the Carry 4. The Carry 4 isn't ugly, man. I love the way the Carry 4 yep. looks, but I've got to give the point to the Carry 4, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you. Yeah. The reason I am, though, is that more rings colorway, the black one. Oh my god, filet. Oh, hit that. that was nice. That was right then. I've been practicing. I've been, wow. doing, that. I've been doing it. Wow. He's different. Oh my god, he's so different. So alright guys, overall, it looks like the Kyrie 4 has come out on top with it being 3-2. So the Kyrie 4 takes the cake this time round. But Under Armour and Nike have both provided us with really good shoe for guards. I think either of these shoes are really good shoes to play in. If you like shoe with minimal cushion, low to the ground response, then go for the Kyrie 4. But overall, I do agree the Kyrie 4 is a better shoe. So alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And of course, comment down below which shoe you think should come out on top. If you've played with both, which one did you prefer as well? And as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is at purekicks.ig and Twitter is at purekicks underscore TW. So all right guys, that's it from us. Thank you for watching. This is the Kyrie 4. This is the Curry 4. This is Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get it. it.